The Reader View extension strips away clutter like buttons, background images, etc. and changes the page's text size, contrast and layout for better readability. This is done by the extension creating a Reader View mode. We can then switch a web page easily between the normal and Reader View modes with a simple press of a button. And I'm going to demonstrate that on this Wikipedia page as an example. So after installing the extension to your browser, you will see the option inside the browser header allowing us to switch to Reader View mode. And it's as simple as that. So we click this and we instantly enter Reader View mode. Now already we have different options available. This has converted the whole page minus the images. To turn on the images, we can simply select here to show images. We can also increase and decrease the size of these images. Now already, we may not actually need the whole page to be changed into Reader View. So what we can go ahead and do is actually select a specific snippet that we want to read as Reader View. So we're going to highlight this here and then again, click that Reader View button. Now let's take a look what happens. On doing this, we can see this has then changed and it's only changed what we've actually collected. It also gives us an estimated reading time as well. So there's lots of things we can then change about this actual view to make it ideal for us. And these settings are saved the next time we come into Reader View as well. So we can go ahead and we can say that we need a larger or smaller font size. Personally, I'm going to select roughly 19 pixels, I think, for this size. We can then say if we want the text, the lettering to be closer together or further apart. We can then select if we want an increase in the line returns or a decrease as we can see here. We can select what color scheme we want to see. So we can have a light background, which is just black and white. We can have a sepia, solarized, dark, groove, and a dark solarized version. Now this is fantastic depending on two things. One, how you personally prefer to read with the contrast of colors. But two, it's also fantastic for different times of the day. During the afternoon or morning, you may want to look at a light screen where you're awake and you're viewing a light screen. But in the evening, you may want to look at something different, such as a sepia style screen or less of a white light. And at night time, you may want to look at no light at all and have a dark background. So this is perfect for all times of the day. So one thing that we can do is we can print a page. So this is fantastic. As a quick example, let's imagine that we're looking at a recipe and we want to print that recipe to take it to the kitchen to make that meal. Now we can't do that easily on lots of websites because there's lots of images and adverts and we end up printing five pages rather than just a simple one page. We can select the recipe, we can subtract the images, we can then condense the text how we want it to, we can see the print version here and then print it out. Simple, easy to do. We then have the option to email this as well as an email. We can also then save this as a HTML format. We then also have the option to view this in full screen mode, so we can see all the details related to this. We can scroll through and see that as well. We then have the option to customize and edit this content. Remove text, or we can add text back, or we can do anything ideally that we want to do to this text. We can then go ahead and save the changes that we've made, so we have that for a later date as well. Now, not only is this fantastic for accessibility, for reading, and for manipulating the content exactly how you prefer it to be seen, but there's also a text-to-speech um, language incorporated into this as well. So we go ahead and click the audio symbol, and we can then hear this. Google LLC is an American multinational technology company that specializes in internet-related services and products. On top of this, we can also change the volume, the speed and the pitch. So as a brief example, we can put the pitch straight down and increase the speed. Company that specializes in internet related services and products, which include online advertising technologies. And you can see that as well as changing the language and the accent inside there as well. Lastly, the Reader View extension comes with an options panel. Within this options panel, we have the ability to set further configuration. For example, we can use CSS styling to set custom styling for the reader view. 
This means we can maybe change the padding, we can change the coloring, we can change the default size of aspects, we can do lots of different things, limited only via CSS, which obviously is quite an advanced system. We can also add custom user actions as well. This is done via JSON and we can add user actions such as incorporating a button. So here's an example code that you can incorporate to bring a button into the read of view. So by adding and saving that code, we then have this customized button here that's just a simple sample button.